Hello everyone, example 6 on unsteady flow. A composite non-prismatic tank consists of a first term of a cone with diameters 1.25 meters at the bottom and 2.5 meters at the top where a cylindrical tank 5 meters high surmounts. The first term of a cone is 4 meters high. Initially, the composite tank is full of water and 100 mm in diameter. 100 mm Diameter orifice is on the bottom with coefficient of discharge 0.6. Calculate the following, the initial discharge in liters per second, the time required until the cylindrical portion is water-free, and the time required to fully drain the composite tank in seconds. So let's draw the figure to analyze, help analyze the problem. So for the first initial discharge, the orifice is here on the bottom and the head is 9 meters. Therefore, Q is kautog, where head is 9 meters. So Q is equal to 0.6 times pi quantity 0 0.05 square, square root of 19.62 times head 9 times 1000 to convert the discharge to liters per second. So the discharge is 62.62 liters per second. The time required until the cylindrical portion is water free. So take note that the cylindrical portion has constant area S. So the time it takes for the surface to drop by 5 meters is to ash kautog where area S is constant. Quantity square root of HI minus square root of HF over kautog without H. So that's the formula where area S is pi 1.25 square. Initial head. 9 meters final head would be when the five the cylindrical portion is water free then the final head is 4 then c is 0.6 area o is pi uh, 0 0.05 square then square to 19.62 so time is 2 times pi 1.25 square square root of 9 my quantity square root of 9 minus square root of 4 over 0 0.6 pi 0 0.05 square square root of 19.62 cancel out pi so time is equal to 470.3 seconds for the last part the time required to fully drain the composite tank so it consists of 470.3 plus time to empty the first tome of a cone so total time is 470.3 plus t sub f where t sub f is the time to empty this first tome of a cone so let's solve for y first. So y as 2.625 equals y plus 4 as to 1.25. So y is also 4 meters. Then formula x as to h plus 4 equals 0.625 as to 4. So x is 25 over 32 of h plus 4. Since area s is pi x square, so we square x, x square is 25 over 1024 of quantity h square plus 8h plus 16. Substitute into the formula tf equals integral of area s dh over kautog with h, because not yet derived. So tf is integral from 0 to 4, pi 25 over 10 20, to 4, 1024 of quantity h square plus 8h plus 16dh over 0.6c pi 0 0.05 square square root of 19.62h. So computing the constant 25 over 1024 over quantity 0 0.6 0 0.05 square square root of 19.62 that would be 3.6745 then the integral of h square over square root of h integral of h to the 3 halves is h to the 5 hubs over 5 hubs and reciprocal of 5 hubs is 2 fifths or 0.4 so 0.4 h to the 5 hubs or 0.4 h to the 2.5 then integral of 8 h to the 1 half because h over square root of h is h to the 1 half is 8 h to the 3 hubs over 3 hubs so 8 over 3 hubs is 16 thirds h to the 3 hubs or h to the 1.5 then integral of 16 over square root of h or 16 h to the negative 1 half is 16 h to the 1 half over 1 half or 16 times to 32 h to the 1 half or 32 square root of h from 0 to 4. Substituting the limits, 
So 3.6745 quantity 0.4 times 4 to the 2.5 plus 16 third times 4 to the 1.5 plus 32 square root of 4 minus lower limit. Everything has 8, so 0. So Tf is equal to 49.0 seconds. Finally, the time to completely drain the composite tank is 470.3 plus 49 seconds. So the total time to drain completely the composite tank is 909.3 seconds.